Hello, my name is Nolan Clark, and this is going to be my capstone presentation. So I started off with my goal, which was to create a small company. I've always wanted to own a company when I grew up. So I decided for my capstone presentation that I was going to make a small business, and I would create a product, and I'd sell it to students at Mosscroft. The year prior, I saw other kids doing this. They were selling these green little cactus plants. They were going around classroom to classroom, and they were marketing to us. Those students were part of the JBC program. My mentor was my father, since he is the closest person I know that actually owns their own company. I talked to him about uh, what he did when he first started, uh, but to be honest, I got more help from the people at JBC because all of them were entrepreneurs. So, and there's multiple people working there. The people at JBC built a list of things to check off while we started our own company, my group. When I first started at the JBC program, they put us all into a group of around 10 people. The first thing we had to do was to choose a product to sell. So we all had to come up with an idea and we voted for which one we liked the most, which ended up being an eco-friendly hand warmer which is also an ice pack. If you microwave them, they would heat up and stay hot for around three hours. Also, if you want to, them to become an ice pack, you'd put them in a small Ziploc bag and you'd put them in the freezer, leave them there for a while, and boom, you got an ice pack. We then had to uh, choose our roles in the company. I became the VP of tech, meaning, meaning I had to work on things like our website, our Instagram account, the product itself, and then after we got all of our base information down, all of those things that I just mentioned, we had to create a timeline, which consisted of gathering the materials, building the product, marketing it, and then selling it. We wanted to design a product to be every, for, so every part would be eco-friendly, environmentally friendly. So for the shell, for the outside of the hand warmer, we used, small cotton drawstring bags instead of polyester which most companies use these days which consists of plastic and is not eco-friendly for the inside the most important part the part that actually heats up we used flaxseed we put them in these bags we also added lavender to make the hand warmer smell nice after you put them in the microwave uh, we also, after that, we had to calculate the price of the materials that we're going to put in each unit. So each product, how much it was going to cost to make. Uh, so we did that so that we would know how much to sell the product for that, so that we would make a profit. After that, we had to meet up and give each other the materials. We had each decided that we were going to sell 10 products each. We made the instructions on how to build them, and we all got to work. We weren't able to sell as all of the products, but we were able to sell most of them. We had a few problems along the way, and one of them is that we wouldn't, couldn't, couldn't decide on the price of the bag of the product. First, we were selling it for $12, then we were selling it for $8, and then we were selling it for $10. We were never able to get a solid price down because we were still making a product regardless. The cost around $2.50 to make the product, so as long as we were selling more than that, we were making a profit. Near the end of the program, we want to sell the rest of our stock. So, we decided to create a sale at school, at Mosscrop. And during the sale, we were trying to sell as many as product as possible, so the price just ended up going all over the place. Uh, it actually ended up being as low, we were, ended up selling it for as low as $5 that day. But after the sale, we actually, it actually ended up being pretty successful. We made $120, but there ended up being another problem. Mosscrop, the school, said that all of our proceeds that we earned had to be donated, which was not good because we worked really hard on this and we want to keep the money. So we found a loophole. We did donate it. We donated it to JBC, which gave the money back to us. 
And after that, we are co pretty much complete. We sold most of our products, and we had to finish make a final video at the end. But after that, I was done the program. I received a certificate of completion of the JABC program. I learned a few things during the program. I learned different types of marketing. I learned more about teamwork, self-sufficiency, and we actually got a lot done. We were able to make a successful company. We made more money than it cost to make it. Uh, we also were able to make a social media account. We were able to make a social media campaign. We were able to make a website, uh, which really wasn't that useful. And we were also able to make an ad for the product, which actually won an award at JABC. For the core competencies, I would say I developed my creative thinking because we had to think a lot during this. We had to come up with the idea for the product. We had to come up with the packaging, our name, which ended up being Flex Pack. And we also made these nice little packaging for it. We also had to cr come up with sales strategies and we had to design the website. So just a whole bunch of thing thinking had to go into this. Also, I'd say I developed my communication skills because throughout the program, we really had to keep in touch with each other. We created three Instagram group chats and we used those to uh, just help keep in touch and talk about the product and our ideas and what we're going to do. So we, and then at the very end, we used that and we got the project done. My goal after this is to if I was ever to do this again, I would say I want to have a more solid plan because for the price, we were just all over the place. We didn't know what to sell it for and we didn't actually work on the timeline long enough. So it just gave us time, which we didn't know what to do. Also, I'd say I want to learn to focus more after this because and not get sidetracked because that was a huge problem while doing this project. Overall, I had fun time, we got a lot done, I earned some money, and thank you very much. That's the end of my presentation.